Cheers. We're going to do a Bible study now. This is the book of Amos. It's one of the books in the Bible. Here we go. The words of Amos, who was among the shepherders of Tekna, which he envisioned in visions concerning Israel in the days of Uzziah, king of Judah, and in the days of Jerobanah, son of Josh, king of Israel, two years before the earthquake. He said, The Lord roars from Zion, and from Jerusalem he utters his voice, and the shepherds' pasture grounds mourn, and the summit of Carmel dries up. Thus says the Lord, for three transgressions of Damascus for four, I will not revoke its punishment, because they thrashed Gilead with implements of sharp iron. So I will send fire upon the house of Hazel, and it will consume the citadels of Ben-Hadad. It will also break the goot far from Damascus, and cut off the inhabitant from the valley of Avon, and him who holds the scepter from Bethaden. So the people of Aram will go exile to Kerr, says the Lord. Thus says the Lord, For three transgressions of Gaza and for four, I will not revoke its punishment, because they deported an entire population to deliver it to Edom. So I will send fire upon the walls of Gaza, and it will consume her citadels. And in that day the mountains will drip with sweet wine, and the hills will flow with milk, and all the brooks of Judah will flow with water. And a spring will go out from the house of the Lord to the water of Shittadem to water the valley of Shittim. Egypt will become a waste, and Edom will become a desolate wilderness because of the violence done to the sons of Judah and those whose lands they shed innocent blood. But Judah will be inhabited forever, and Jerusalem for all generations, and I will avenge their blood which I have not avenged, for the Lord dwells in Zion. I will also cut off the inhabitant from Ashdod, and him who holds the scepter from Ashkelon, I will even unleash my power upon Ekron, and the remnant of the Philistines will perish, says the Lord God. Thus says the Lord, For three transgressions of Tyre, and for four, I will not revoke its punishment, because they delivered upon an entire population of Edom, and did not remember the covenant of their brotherhood. So I will send fire upon the walls of Tyre, and it will consume her citadels. Thus says the Lord, For three transgressions of Edom, and for four, I will not revoke its punishment, because he pursued his brother with the sword, while he stifled his compassion. His anger also tore continually, and he maintained his fury forever. So I will send fire upon Temen, and it will consume the citadels of Bozra. Thus says the Lord, For three transgressions of the sons of Mammon, and for four, I will not revoke its punishment, because they ripped open the pregnant woman of Gilead, in order to enlarge their borders. So I will kinder a, file in the, a fire in the walls of Rabbah, and it will consume her citadels amid war cries of the day of battle, and a storm on the day of tempest, and their king will go to exile, he and his princes together, says the Lord. Thus says the Lord, For three transgressions of Moan for four, I will not revoke its punishment, because he burned the bones of the king of Edom to lime. So I will send fire upon Moab, and it will consume the citadels of Kerioth, and Moab will die amid Tormah, with war cries and the sound of a trumpet. I will also cut off the judge from her myths, and slay all her princes with him, says the Lord. Thus says the Lord, For three transgressions of Judah and for four, I will not revoke its punishment, because they rejected the law of the Lord, and have kept his statues. Their lies have also led them astray, those after which their fathers walked. So I will send fire upon Judah, and it will consume the citadels of Jerusalem, says the Lord. For three transgressions of Israel and for four, I will not revoke its punishment, because they sell the righteous for money and the needy for a pair of sandals. Those who pant, those who pant after the very dust of the, on the earth, on the heat of the helpless, also turn aside the way of the humble. And a man and his father resort to the same girl, in order to profane my holy name on garments taken as pledges as they stretch out beside every altar. And in the house of their God, they drink the wine of those who have been fined. Yet it was I who destroyed the Amorite before them. Though his height was like the height of the cedars, and he was strong like the oaks, I even destroyed his fruit above and his root below. It was I who brought you from the land of Egypt, and I who led you into the wilderness for forty years, so that you might take possession of the land of Amorite. 
Then I raised up some of your sons to be prophets, and some of your young men to be Nazarites. Is this not so, O sons of Israel, declares the Lord? But you made the Nazarites drink wine, and you commanded the prophets, saying, You shall not prophesy. Behold, I am weighted down beneath you as a wagon is weighted down when filled with sheaves. Flight will perish from the swift, and the stalwart will not strengthen his power, nor the mighty man save his life. He who grasps the bow will not stand his ground. The swift of foot will not escape, nor will he who rides the horse save his life. Even the bravest among the warriors will flee naked that day, declares the Lord. Hear this word which the Lord has spoken against you, sons of Israel, against the entire family which he brought up from the land of Egypt. You only have I chosen among you on all the families of the earth. Therefore I will punish you for all your, for all your antiquities. Do you two men walk together unless you have made an appointment? Does a lion roar in the forest when he has no prey? Does a young lion growl from his den unless he has captured something? Does a bird fall into a trap on the ground when there is no bait in it? Does a trap spring up from the earth when it captures nothing at all? If a trumpet is blown in the city, will not people tremble? If a calamity occurs in a city, has not the Lord done it? Surely the Lord does nothing unless he reveals a secret counsel to his servants, the prophets. A lion has roared. Well, who will not fear? The Lord God has spoken. Who can but the prophecy? Who can but prophecy? Proclaim on the citadels in Ashad and on the citadels in the land of Egypt and say, Assemble yourselves on the mountains of Samariah and see the great tumults within her and the oppressions in her midst. But they do not know how to do what is right, declares the Lord. These who hoard up violence and devastations in their citadels. Therefore, thus says the Lord, an enemy, even one surrounding the land, will pull down your strength from you, and your citadels will be looted, thus says the Lord. Just as the shepherd snatches from the lion's mouth a couple of legs or a piece of an ear, so will the sons of Israel dwelling in Samaria 